Well, welcome back to another episode of Breakfast with AB. Now you guys read the title, you know what we making. We making stuffed, you know, pancakes. Super easy to make. You know what, I always tell you I don't want to over talk it, but I'm going to give it to you in a nutshell right here. Actually, the nutshell is the whole thing. Listen, we making them from scratch, and a lot of people don't even know that, you know, it's so small amount of ingredients that you put in there, you know what I mean? Just, hey, super easy to make. And then listen, we gonna put, I'm gonna use sausage, I'm using bacon. You can use whatever your mind, whatever you think of, you can put them in there. I would do, you know what? I actually like mine with a little cheese in there too. I know some of y'all right now are thinking like, what, cheese and pancakes? But listen, I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to do. So listen, like I said, I'm not gonna over talk it. We finna get right into it. Okay, now let's go over the ingredients. Okay, that's all purpose flour. You see that was one cup. We got sugar, which is two tablespoons, baking powder, two teaspoons. And also, listen, as you notice, I pick up the ingredients and you can see that each name of the ingredient is there along with the quantity. And if you look down in the description box below, for those of you guys that want to copy and paste and possibly want to print the uh, ingredient list, it's there for you to do so also. Now, here we got salt. I say just a pinch, you know what I mean? Just a half a teaspoon. Then we got one cup of uh, milk. <clears throat> now you can use any kind of milk, whole, 2%. That's actually 2%. And I'm gonna be stuffing mine with bacon. So here you can just see, you know, how I like for my bacon to look. This is the bacon. Then after that, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, fry up the, we're gonna fry up the sausage. Now look, I'm gonna give you guys, listen, I'm gonna give you guys a uh, pro tip. You see all of that fat right there? And you guys, I don't know, if you've been with me for a while, you've been watching these uh, videos, like the smother pork chops, things like that, that turkey. That smothered turkey, listen, that right there, you saved that grease, and now we on our way, you know, to making just like an excellent tasting uh, gravy. And that's what it looks like when it was done. Just showing you. Don't forget, you guys can put any type of stuffing you want. You can do whatever you like. I tell you, I like cheese, green onions, all kind of stuff, but I'm going to just keep it real simple here. Now, just get all your, uh, I don't want to over talk it. Listen, we making pancakes from scratch, obviously. So when you look at it right here, just get all your dry ingredients and then get yourself a fork because that's old school. I'm going to use a whisk, but you know, I'm showing out right now because I'm doing a video. <clears throat> a lot of times I don't even want to look for it. I grab the closest thing to me, which is normally a, a fork, and we get down like that. There's a little pro tip. I use my little my little uh, bowls right there to make my little indentation. Now, normally I double this recipe, but this is the recipe right here. It'll make yourself about four to five, you know, pancakes. I use that to make that indentation, and I take now all of my wet ingredients, and I just pour it in there. It works better when you, do, you know, double the recipe so you'll have a bigger uh, indentation, but either or. I'm just showing you guys how to do it, and if you got a, big, a bigger family, of course you're gonna double it. All right, so scramble your egg, do all that. You just saw me take the butter, just put it in a microwave. I just melted it, and then I take my whisk slash fork, and you know what? We just work it down. We just want to keep whisking it until it's smooth. And when I pick it up, that's just to show you. You see, I just want you guys to see the consistency of that. Make sure you get all of that flour and all your dry ingredients mixed with your wet. And then after that, listen, it's gonna thicken up as you wait. And listen, I'm using that that half a cup. You know, it just has my scoop. And then you want to keep in mind that with how much ever you uh, scoop in there, that's how big your pancake is going to be. So if you replicate that, that'll keep them all, in, you know, uniform. Now, <clears throat> as I'm heating the, uh, my pan up and getting my butter, you know, distributed throughout my pan, I'm going to go ahead and just cut my, as you see, I'm just cutting up my sausage. You know, you just want to cut it up. It's up to you how big you want it to be. Uh, I usually cut mine up about that size, sometimes even bigger. And I... I make my uh, pancakes even thicker, but I'm gonna keep it traditional. You guys go ahead and tailor make it, you know, after you make it this way, and then go ahead and do it your own way, you know, moving forward. Now, after the bacon is cut, and got everything set up. I put well, however much amount I do in my scoop, and then I just pour it in there. Now, I want you guys to take it, uh, take notice to that, to my heat. It say 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Listen, as I'm cooking, I adjust that up and down. I stay, you know, that's the thing about pancakes. You gotta stay on your, uh, your heat. So once it's done, you can start seeing it start to bubble. When the bubbles start coming through from the bottom of the pan to the top, you know, that's when it's time to flip. Then you just add your ingredients, you know, real easy. And more so, this video was really just to, you know, get people to think, uh, you know, outside of the box. We don't always have to have just the same old, same old. You know what I mean? It's cool to put something out on the uh, on your breakfast table. You know what I mean? To get your whole fam or whoever you got, you know, eating with you or whatever, just to get everybody talking. Now, again, just put it in here. I start adding my uh, my stuffings, usually after it quits spreading. So after you see it quit spreading, I let it cook inside, then I flip them. And there you have it. You know, super easy. 
you just want to repeat this as many times until you got all your pancakes made and you know uh, I will say this you know what heat preheat your oven and leave it at about 200 degrees so as you cook and you you know you take your pancakes off you want to put them in there that way they'll stay warm hey so there you have it got them on the plate and I want you guys to let me know hey what do you think about this hey listen I like this little slow motion that I'm doing right here I'm not gonna lie to you you know what that's what was like motivate me because I just know how it's gonna look once you know that serve start running down the side and then I speed it up right here hey let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have ever even had you know stuffed uh, pancakes before and if you have what are your favorites and then you know I'm going ahead and just cut this up for you guys to take a look so you can see what it looked like, you know, like in the inside, you know, with that meat, it's all there. And there you have it, folks. You know what? We got stuffed pancakes. So tell me what you guys think about this video right here. You know what? Super easy to make. You know, a lot of us uh, buy pancakes in a box. You know what? We come home, we make them. You either add water, milk, or whatever, and you make them. Listen, this just shows you that you can make great tasting, uh, you know, pancakes on your own at the house. And even when you have it, you don't have that box. After probably making it this way, you probably won't make, you know, buy the box no more anyway. Moving forward. Now, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. And just tell me, have you ever even had stuffed pancakes? And if you have, what are your favorites? You know what? I'm interested in reading them. You guys might turn me on to something that I had never even thought about putting in there. And I'm going to let you know this right now. Listen, sometime I sprinkle a little cheese in there and mine. So, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just go ahead and take this time to say, hey, welcome to my channel. You know what? Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to ask you guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and let everybody know out there there's a channel out here that's taking the mystery out of cooking and simplifying these recipes. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out.